G'day, I'm Ash. This is the Boomerang Mark II. Now, if you're unaware, this thing is going away, which means that, unfortunately, this thing, despite its new camo flow, is looking all fancy. It is being removed from sale on November 8th, so if you haven't picked it up already, I highly suggest you do so. It's still bearing its civilian registration. The skin has, has uh, been changed a bit here. VHMHR is actually Suzy Q. It's a, it's a, that's the civilian registration for the aircraft. So VH being Australia, MHR being this particular boomerang. Although it doesn't even look like that. The numbering is wrong. The lettering is wrong. Uh, I could go on about specific details. Also, the fact that the Mark II is missing a bomb pylon. Mark IIs were known as Smoky Joes. They could carry 50 kilogram bombs and up to two 250-pound bombs on either wing. Although, there is pictures and provisions for a 500-pounder directly behind the landing gear. So, it'd be nice to have the Mark II be unique or something, but no, we can't have that in War Thunder, no. So, if you're looking to get a unique fighter, well, now is your last chance to do so. This is going to become a collectible aircraft now. And I'm kind of mixed on it becoming a collector's aircraft. I would have loved for them to have a different reason for removing this for sale. Maybe are they planning on introducing a Commonwealth Tech Tree? I don't think so. I think they're removing it because nobody really buys this thing because it is exactly the same. Well, guess what? If it had bombs and if it had more access to other the things, then maybe it would be a viable vehicle. But unfortunately, it's exactly the same. The only difference now is the research and the silver, which unfortunately, because it's got a porcupine exhaust and like it's brethren, uh, the only reason which is different here is obviously that massive exhaust, but these two are exactly identical. Except for the fact that one costs 200 silver lines more to, to repair, which being the Mark II. Also, let's not mention the fact that the IATS, when it first came out in the CDK files, it was listed as having the Boomerang's flight model. Now, they did update this and change it fairly quickly, but this machine having a better engine than the Boomerang, being a similar flight model, means that the old flight model that the Boomerang had, which frankly was possibly the best flight model it could have, they've made it heavier, the engine overheats, etc, etc. The IATS now has that, so, you know, I would recommend this, but I'm also a little hesitant to. So anyway, let's get into some gameplay. Oh, I must admit, this vehicle is fun to play sometimes. I have had better successes on this machine, but coming up with this P-39. I've got 7.7s for years, so we may as well just, there we go, add a bit of cannon to that and you actually get the damage. You don't do most of the damage with the machine guns, I have my gun convergence set to about 400 meters. But I guess the mainstay of this vehicle is, well, it isn't really the greatest or fastest speed aircraft out there. You're barely pushing 400 kilometers an hour most times, and really, with a, you know, top speed of 491 kilometers an hour your cruise speed is probably going to be around 380 maybe 400 at maximum takeoff run is 273 meters the turn time is 22 meters and the rate of climb is about 14.9 so not too bad for a bomber engine but considering this aircraft was made and tested and put into production and put into service in under nine months still the uh, world record for an amount of time that an aircraft has gone from development to uh, actual use in the military it does have combat flaps does have takeoff flaps does have landing flaps doesn't get an uh, air brakes doesn't get an arrest again but for what it is it's quite an interesting vehicle nonetheless the uh wings rip at about 660 kilometers now so you can dive with this thing the issue isn't killing people per se it's more getting up to altitude and by the time you're at altitude usually a lot of other aircraft are already above you at that point in time the gear rips at 320 uh, kilometers now trust me been there done that and uh, combat flaps is 487 kilometers now now the max uh, static g's uh, plus uh, 12 and negative nine now got a crew of one and really this machine is just fantastic it's a mainstay of my, my channel. I can't account how many videos I've done of the thing. But I will say that this match has been incredibly fun. There is this weird guy up here. I don't even know how I'm going to get up to him. Look, the problem is when you're below someone, they have all the energy advantage. Boomerang doesn't have the greatest engine, so even using wartime emergency power for just a little bit means I won't be able to catch this P-36G. If only this hurricane would try and dive down and actually be useful, but... 
Now, as you can see, he's bleeding all the speed in that turn there. Won't be able to catch him just yet. Hopefully we'll be able to kill him. Again, what used to be a fantastic aircraft that could 1v5, no problem. It's now an aircraft that I could say that probably 1v2, probably maximum. Because it, it gets heavy on the rudder. The ailerons don't roll as well as they used to. And I mean, eh. Oh, got him. Right. Uh, this... A36 is being a little bit of a hindrance. Come on, let's give him the old spray. 4,000 rounds for nothing. Sometimes you can get lucky and get a hit. There you go, we've got a hit on some of the things. What is he doing? He's turn fighting with me. I'm at lower speed than him, means I'm going to cut the inside of him. A36 is normally something to worry about. You know, if you're fighting any an American aircraft, you don't really have to worry too much. If you're fighting a Spitfire, maybe, although you're usually on the Britain's team. So I could easily have killed him just there if I'd have aimed correctly. That's the thing. I haven't played this game so long. Come on. Alright. There we go. About bloody time. E40 with a zero in its tail and a CW21. I think I'm going to go after the CW21. It's also that new VT12 or V12 down there. Cool. Alright. The reason why you'd go after the CW21 is because that thing basically outperforms this thing in every manner. I'm going to give him the old Dakar, see what he does with that. Hopefully he isn't a bit silly with it. It's B-34, two B-34s, and a Class 61. Okay, so dangerous aircraft ahead. Let's see if we can take them all out. BT-1D, okay. You know what, I'm going to be cheeky. Let's give him the old Dak. Dak, 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 Dak. <laughs> clench, 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 clench. Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. Yeah, okay. Uh, so focus, 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 focus. Focus, focus. All right, attack it, attack it. Attack it, attack it, attack it. Well, it's not. There, there you go. Oh, my engine's hit. Crap. That's the one thing you can't survive with if you get your engine hit. All right. Uh, this is car 61. No one else around. Let's go head on. Worst like you ever, but... Oh, fully commit! Oh, ow, 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 ow. Fuck. There goes my engine. Attention to the map. Come on. There we go. Oh, hang on a minute. I'm low energy. And there's a Japanese guy coming for me. That's not good. That's not good. All right, pull down. We're going to just sort of... Pretend he doesn't exist. Pretend that that A6M2 doesn't exist. You know, this thing never actually got an aerial victory, unlike the Wiraway. The Wiraway has a confirmed kill. Oh, hello, Kai 100. I didn't know you were there. Right. Nimble as ever, and only in a wet dream would that had have connected and killed the guy. In the old one, two. Tap it on tap, tap, tap. Oh, hi, yes, I'm not. So yeah, as I was saying, this vehicle is very, very competitive. There are thousands of videos that I've made on this channel with this thing. I think there's probably like 12 to 15, I think, videos on this channel about this particular machine. You know, I cover it occasionally. It's probably one of my favorite props, although it used to be one of my favorite props. And unfortunately, I've, I don't know. I kind of want to take a break from this game even further. I've had my one week off recently, so, you know, here's what it is. But hopefully you find use or value out of the sales out of this one. Okay, I need to get this P-39. Come here. I, I can't talk and play at the same time. It's why I struggle with the struggle of streaming. There you go. He's gone. Yep. Oh, there's an I-80S down there. Speaking of I-80Ss, dude, those things are absolutely wreck. Hell. I wonder if I can go kill him. Show him who's boss. You know, if I got an Ash decal, what would it be? Would it be a boomerang? Or would it be something else? I'm kind of curious to know what you think in the comments down below. That's if any of you watched this. You didn't watch my last video. That's okay. All right. He's trying to force a head on. Let's roll under. Okay, there we go. He could have ripped my wing off there. Pull back around on the shores of Poland here. Here we go. Give me the old one, two. Dak, 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 done. Right. Awesome. 
Well, I think that's all I need to showcase to the boomerang. The machine guns hit quite hard. If you find yourself out of air targets, just go after ground. And there we go. The mighty boomerang. Well, not so mighty anymore. But once upon a time, this vehicle was possibly the most recommendable vehicle in the game. Despite the fact that its cousin, uh, the Mark I, really just sort of... I don't know, it doesn't hit the spot anymore. It's a good collector's item. I hope you enjoyed today's video. And, well, maybe I'll take out the IADS tomorrow and we can compare it and have a look. Maybe that will be tomorrow's video, but we'll have to wait and see for that one. So, yeah, we're going to be covering a bunch of different vehicles from here on out. Hopefully, at least the plan here is to do startup daily content again. Uh, so that way we can boost our numbers before the end of the year. But, nevertheless, I hope you've enjoyed today's video. That's a quick look at the boomerang. Let me know if you bought it or you didn't. If not, oh well, so sad. Uh, thank you very much for watching. My name is Ash, and I'll catch you in the next one.